Morning, everyone. It's Wednesday of the 22nd week, so let's begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. You know, sometimes we lose perspective. Sometimes things happen and we get focused on the wrong thing in life. So as we begin, let's kind of think about our faith and the lessons we have learned on this journey. For the times we forgot how important each person is, we ask God's forgiveness. So we pray, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God, our Father, may we continue to trust in the love you have for us. May we continue to grow in our love for you through Christ our Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could not talk to you as spiritual people, but as fleshly people, as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still not able, even now, for you are still of the flesh. While there is jealousy and rivalry among you, are you not of the flesh and walking according to the manner of man? Whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos. Are you not merely men? What is Apollos, after all? And what is Paul? Ministers through whom you became believers, just as the Lord assigned each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who causes the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are all God's co-workers. You are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord. The responsorial song, blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed, blessed the, the people, people the Lord has chosen to be, to be his, his own. own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven, the Lord looks down. He sees all mankind. Blessed, Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From his fixed throne, he beholds all who dwell on the earth. He who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Blessed, Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. Blessed, Blessed the, the people the Lord, Lord has chosen to be his own. My friends, may the Lord be with you. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And the demons also kept coming out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, to the other towns also, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea, the gospel of the Lord. You know, our scripture teacher said, you know, how we know how Simon Peter denied Jesus three times, and people wonder why. His explanation was, there's the reason why, because he cured Simon Peter's mother-in-law. I don't know if it's true or not, but nonetheless, that's what it's kind of all about. Um, I don't know if any of you remember, if you follow baseball, Sparky Anderson. Sparky Anderson was the manager of the Cincinnati Reds, kind of a colorful guy. But there's an interesting story about Sparky that it's worth listening to. Sparky had twice tried to win the World Series and was not successful. And something happened that he was in the, it again, and something happened that changed the whole, his whole direction. He wanted to try to win, but it wasn't that big a deal any longer because 
he learned that a guy, a friend of his who we hadn't seen in a while, by the name of Milton Blish, a guy lived in Southern California. Sparky had discovered through a letter from a mutual friend that he had cancer and only had eight weeks to live. And Sparky remembered Milton Blish. When Sparky was down and, and didn't have a job, Milton Blish gave him a job. And Sparky never, ever forgot that. So when he heard about that, he gave him a call every day, before the game and after the game. And if it was a travel day, he still called Milton. He wanted Milton to know that he appreciated everything he did, that he had not forgotten the kindness given to him. And so Parky, Sparky's entire perspective on life changed because he got his priorities right. He got them straightened out. And you know what? I've often found this. When you help somebody else, it really helps you to get your life in perspective. It certainly helped Sparky when just a simple phone call made a huge difference, not only in his friend Milton's life, but in Sparky's life. Sometimes it's those little, little things that we think don't mean a lot, that sometimes mean the world. God bless. Let us offer these petitions. For those experiencing difficulties because of the hurricanes, we pray. We may always be quick to help people that need our help. We pray. We have been, we have been helped during our difficult times with floods and with the ice jams. People have helped us, and in turn, we are so very willing to help others that we may always be willing. We pray. For children, especially the unborn, we pray. God, our Father, we ask you to hear our prayer and to bless our lives through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to give you, food of the vine, work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of God's holy church. Grant, O Lord, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, it is truly right and just that we offer to you our thanks and our love. It was truly out of love you created us, in justice you condemned us, in mercy you redeemed us through Jesus your Son. So once again, we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember your servants, Albino and Antoinette Champy and Margaret, Margaret Ophir, whom you have called from this world to yourself 
Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. Let's offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May God's blessing continue to guide our journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a good day, everyone.